do you feel about Dave and Buster's? It's the number one destination for family fun. Great food, a fun atmosphere, and of course, endless games. Here are 10 reasons why Dave and Buster's is so successful. He smells like success. Dave and Buster are real people. Of course they're real people, they're in Columbus. In the late 1970s, there wasn't such a thing as an arcade-themed bar and restaurant. That all changed after two neighboring business owners saw a light bulb go on over their heads. Dave Corvo and James Buster Corley were two small business owners who owned locations that were right next to each other. Corley owned a bar known as Buster's, and Corvo operated an arcade known as Cash McCools. What a name, by the way. One day, the pair started to realize that patrons were constantly moving between the two locations. Customers would spend time having fun in the arcade, and then when they needed a break, would head over to Buster's for some grub and relaxation. Just need to relax. The two businessmen then decided it was time to change the world of arcade gaming forever and started a new business venture together known as Dave & Buster's. With this new type of entertainment center, customers could enjoy their drinks while still finding themselves in the arcade environment they love. Since its inception, Dave & Buster's has truly changed the landscape of arcades forever. Nowadays, you'd be hard-pressed to find any arcade that doesn't double as a restaurant, or at the very least, serve drinks. Power cards were a power move. Ah, uh, that is a Dave & Buster's power card. Arcades of the past often relied on tokens to play their games. While there is nothing inherently wrong with the token system, things needed to evolve. Dave & Buster's, being an innovative and forward-thinking brand, decided that a debit card-style system would improve the customer gaming experience. And they were right. Without the need to carry around pockets full of heavy tokens, the card system allowed for a more streamlined entertainment experience that many customers prefer over the out dated tokens. Much better. Dave & Buster's have even taken it to another level in recent years with the introduction of a wearable RFID bracelet that works much like the cards. Inspired by Disneyland's switch to a bracelet for their parks, Dave & Buster's made the change and haven't looked back. These types of systems have not only made gaming easier for customers, but have done a great service for the business as well by increasing revenue. The food and drinks are amazingly tasty. My flavor buds crave the excitement. For many similar-themed businesses, food has always been a bit of a struggle. Dave & Buster's, however, has made it a point to go above and beyond when creating their menus, and it has paid off. Offering everything from unique starters to signature entrees and even vegetarian options, Dave & Buster's leaves no <laughs> guest hungry. D&B's even tries to push the boundaries of color culinary creation in an attempt to wow diners when they are taking a break from gaming. Strawberry-infused ice cubes, buffalo wing burgers, and the short rib mac and cheese stack are just a few of the out-of-the-box options that diners can find on the menu. I got what you need. The drinks, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, aren't the least bit boring either. Some of the most wild drinks served include the Green Ghost Glow Kona, and the strawberry mango margarita. The first drink wows customers with the addition of a glowing ice cube that gives the drink an otherworldly look. And the mango margarita includes strawberry ice cubes that have been a customer favorite. Dave & Buster's food and beverage selections aren't a small offering either. Their menu consists of multiple pages filled with some of the most creative and great-tasting food that can be found at a chain restaurant. Pay-per-view events. Hey, boss, you gonna watch pay-per-view? Having marketed themselves as a place to enjoy your favorite sports on the seemingly endless TV screens they have, sports fans flock to their establishments in droves when a popular event is taking place. One sporting event that Dave & Buster's has gravitated to is ultimate fighting and mixed martial arts. UFC events have become a widely popular sport over the past decade, with millions of fans tuning in for large events. 
MMA brings thousands of fans to local restaurants and sports bars to enjoy a few drinks while watching their favorite fighters duke it out in the octagon. My name's the Human Spider. I don't care, get out there. No. Dave and Buster saw the potential revenue that comes with hosting events like these and were quick to try and establish themselves as the pinnacle of sports watching establishments. Allowing fans to watch large pay-per-view events without having to fork over hundreds of dollars on their own has been as you can imagine, pretty popular. Combine that with Dave & Buster's amazing food options, a variety of beer and cocktails, and you can see why D&B's has become a hot spot for pay-per-view events. In between fights, customers can even play a few arcade games without missing a second of the action. What could be better than that? Great specials and deals. Oh, I got a great deal. Anyone ever involved with a business knows that offering deals and special promotions is a great way to attract customers and stay top of mind as a brand. This idea isn't lost on Dave & Buster's. They are constantly using promotions for new games, food items, and gaming specials that do a great job in attracting more customers. One of their more popular specials is a food and game card pair that comes with a tiered pricing option. At the lowest level, customers can get a $10 game card and an entree for just $20, and the savings grow from there with each new level. We can't stop saving money. Another wildly popular option at DMB's has been their half-off Wednesday promotion. Realizing that Wednesday was one of their slowest days of the week, Dave & Buster's has created a promotion that brings in more customers on a day that is usually quite quiet. The chain is also no stranger to happy hour deals either. Offering some extremely competitive happy hour prices on their food and drinks, Dave & Buster's has been able to pull in a sizable crowd for happy hour and game night events. With a ton of different deals and promotions that can make your Dave & Buster's experience even more fun, it's easy to see how the gaming-focused restaurant chain has become so popular. Dave & Buster's went public. An IPO is an initial public offering. Costing, at the very least, a mind-blowing $10 million to build, Dave & Buster's locations are quite an investment. With each building being anywhere from 50,000 to 70,000 square feet, $10 million is just the beginning of the costs involved in creating a Dave & Buster's location. In an attempt to alleviate any financial strain that may affect the company, Dave & Buster's decided decided that their stock should go public. In 2014, the brand was finally listed on the stock market with the aptly named stock ticker Play. Pretty smart, eh? This move saw the release of almost 6 million shares in an effort to raise up to $100 million for the company. At the time of their stock announcement, Dave & Buster's had over 10,000 employees, more than 100 locations in the United States, with locations in Canada as well. Like many companies that have gone public, Dave & Buster's saw a large initial stock purchase and was able to raise quite a bit of capital. Dave & Buster's acquired a similar company. You must be expanding every day. In the 1980s, there weren't too many concept restaurants similar to Dave & Buster's. One such establishment that did exist was known as Jillian's. Jillian's started out as a billiards club in Boston, but would transform into a full arcade-slash-restaurant, much like Dave & Buster's. Offering arcade games and food, Jillian's was steadily gaining popularity and starting to make Dave & Buster's worry. While the chain seemed like a huge success, they unfortunately came under hard times and were forced to file for bankruptcy in 2004. We are moving too fast. Seeing this as a huge opportunity to expand their brand, Dave & Buster's acquired many of the Jillian's locations throughout the U.S. and converted them into D&B establishments. With Jillian's out of the picture, Dave & Buster's once again became the mecca of arcade game-based restaurants. Seeing how Jillian's was forced to file for bankruptcy, many were worried that Dave & Buster's may face a similar fate. But thankfully, the brand is still going strong, even after a worldwide pandemic forced many other restaurants and entertainment venues to shut their doors for good. A great place to host a party. We're good!
even though many restaurants and entertainment establishments offer some sort of special for large groups, many of them pale in comparison to Dave & Buster's. While it can sometimes be hard for a group of adults to find a suitable place to throw a party, there are many reasons why Dave & Buster's makes that choice a little easier. Offering many different party packages, specialized foods, and even fully themed parties, it's not hard to see why many groups choose to spend their special occasions at Dave & Buster's. In addition to the exhilarating games and delicious food, the chain also offers plenty of alcoholic options for guests who are looking to unwind and enjoy an adult beverage. Imported beer? This addition of alcoholic beverages not only makes it a great place for adults looking to party, but also encourages guests to spend more money once under the influence and having a good time. It really is a win-win situation for both guests and the restaurant alike. Being a kid-friendly establishment also allows Dave & Buster's to accommodate parties that otherwise would not be allowed in an environment environment that also serves alcohol. So if you ever find yourself planning a party in need of a venue, you need not look further than your local Dave & Buster's for all the fun-packed celebrating your group deserves. D&B's constantly expands their menu. Ooh, a new menu already? It's a new menu every day. Starting out life as a small arcade and bar, Dave & Buster's offered just a few food items for customers to enjoy. Fast forward to today, and things have changed quite a bit. With a wildly diverse menu that features appetizers, entrees, salads, soups, desserts, and more, Dave & Buster's is the place to be when you're looking for tasty options in a fun setting. As recently as 2021, Dave & Buster's once again expanded their menu with a mind-blowing 28 additional options. These additions aren't just a lazy attempt to bring in more customers, either. I'm not lazy. I'm just, um... Being reviewed by many critics upon release, these new foods and drinks have received some great feedback, with some standout items garnering extra positive reviews. Additions such as the Beast Mode Bacon Burger, Korean Sticky Ribs, and Green Chili Chicken Tacos have all received praise from food critics and are a hit with many customers across Dave & Buster's locations. With a constantly inventive and creative menu, Dave & Buster's has always been a great place for hungry diners who are looking for something tasty and sometimes even a little out of the ordinary. Dave & Buster's expanded to other countries. I'm an international superstar! After starting in Dallas, Texas in 1982, Dave & Buster's has seen a lot of growth in the United States. Growing to over 100 locations, almost everyone across the country has found themselves in a Dave & Buster's location at some point. It's no wonder that the chain has since started opening locations in other countries as well, while still expanding their U.S. operations. After a rocky turn of the century for the company, they found themselves in a partnership with one of the UK's well wealthiest individuals who would oversee the expansion and operation of new locations throughout the United Kingdom. We're looking for the best of the best. Unfortunately for Dave & Buster's fans across the pond, these locations have since been closed due to the parent company, Base, getting out of the franchising business. Luckily for U.S. neighbors to the north, Dave & Buster's locations can still be found in some parts of Canada. So Canadian gamers need not worry, you can still make Make the coveted pilgrimage to a Dave & Buster's location without leaving the country. Get a taste of more great videos, just tap or click, and leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.